So I posted a video um, a little while back about taking the fourth tier off my Lang my Apame Langstroth hive um, to get ready for winter and to reduce the space. While I had this hive open and did a bit of an ins inspection, things did not look good. Um, they didn't look to be in a very good shape. And I got a lot of feedback, so thank you very much from people who said, reduce it further, push it down from three tiers to two tiers. Some people said, squish them into one, just squish it into a single box to give them the best chance possible. Because I also read that, you know, that is the best solution whenever you look like you have a weak hive, reduce their space and they seem to bounce back. It's just something about them managing the right size space. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see if that helps. I'm gonna do everything I can to save this hive. I really wanna be successful just one year with beekeeping. Um, I admit they did not look particularly great. Um, other people suggested things like maybe my queen is dead or that I have American fowl brood. I don't know about all that, but I'm going to see how it goes. I'm going to reduce it down and just pray to the bee gods. Um, I will also add that I did... So after that video, I did crack open the hive because we've had cold temperatures since I posted that video. Freezing, like borderline freezing temperatures every during the day. So it's been nasty here. And today... I finally have a reprieve. This is the warmest it's going to be for the foreseeable future. And at max, it's going to be, I think it's 53 degrees Fahrenheit out. And that's the hottest it's going to get today. But in the forecast, is nothing but freezing temperatures and snow. So today is the day. If I'm going to make this happen, it's not ideal temperature, but I have to have, make it happen now. And I haven't done it yet because the, the temperature has been so bad. But I got concerned. And one day I did take off the cover and look in the third tier. And they seem to have a lot going on, but I am going to try really hard to go through, remove any frame that has no honey and is otherwise just empty comb or just empty empty, and try to cram everything down into at least two boxes. So this is going to be one of the, like many of my bee videos, it's just going to be kind of one long continuous uh, video of me working. So some people like those, well, actually most people seem to like them, but just a warning ahead of time that I'm not really going to do a lot of editing. It's kind of like in real time. So let's do it. And I'm not going to be paying attention to the camera probably too much because I've never condensed a hive. This is the first time I've had a Langstroth. My first two years were, were horizontal hives. So there wasn't really the same sort of reduction of space. And that might have been part of my problem why I lost those hives. But um, I'm going to be really hyper-focused. So if I'm not particularly chatty on this video, I apologize. Hopefully you'll just find enjoyment in watching me do my thing. So all right, I'm going to put my B. Uh, bee suit on. I'm going to get the smoker going and we'll get right back to this. That's not good. This frame's completely busted. And of course, it's a frame that actually has honey in it. Let's just start by removing.
much there. Try to leave these center frames here. It's not, not a lot going on with this brood. I really don't want to don't want to mess with the brood. There's like a little bit of stuff in each frame, so that's really bothersome. But before I go too much further, I'm going to, uh, I'm actually going to look in the bottom box too because I'm not seeing a lot going on down there. I have a tight little cluster of bees in the very center here. But I see no bees down at the bottom. Um, foul brood might be a possibility because I see some dead brood. Oh, right, 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 right. All right, I'm gonna look for a queen. Can't find a queen, and there's no point continuing. Things are not looking good, my friends.
Every B counts. All right, I did not see a queen. Got it. That doesn't necessarily mean anything. I never see the queen. <laughs> so. Hive is getting a reorganization, I'm bringing it down all the way down to one box. It's freaking tragic as that is. I just don't see another alternative.
Tons of pollen, though, my goodness. they're selling to this frame because it looks pretty useless to me but Free view life counts. Right. Now judging the remainder of the frames by weight for anything with heavily good stores. Candidate. I'm nervous about these. Looks like there's some dead brood in these frames and that makes me super duper nervous. There's also tons of pollen.
So I recently uh, did a video where I was talking about various parts of my homestead and if it's worth it. And I gotta say, bees, they're not really worth it. <laughs> not really worth it. Honestly. These are expensive and basically nothing but cause for alarm and sadness. All right, so that is that. So, chaos. Trying to step on too many bees, the ones that are outside. So my this 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 hive is doomed. <laughs> um, I didn't see a queen, which doesn't necessarily mean anything, but there wasn't a lot of places for her to hide this time. Um, I did see brood that had uh, that looked dead. I mean, I don't really have a good eye for that, but, um, and unfortunately it was in a lot of the bottom frames that also had a lot of pollen. So I took most of those out, um, hoping that it wasn't, it isn't American fowl brood. I saw this in my hive last year too, actually. So maybe I'm just cursed with that. Oh, please don't be on the inside of my hood. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, does not look very positive to me in any way, shape or form. Um, I mean, I could try to order another queen, perhaps. Um, I don't even know if I have enough time to like do that properly. So, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I think this hive is doomed. And that makes me really, 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 really sad. So I tried so hard this year. I invested in literally in the best hive that I could get. And I don't think, I don't think they're going to make it. Um, I don't know what else to do. I collapse them way down. You can sacrifice some frames that are probably still worthwhile. They at least had a little bit of nectar, but I'll keep feeding them and, and hopefully they make it. I'm going to look into seeing, just in case there's the, I, mean, I didn't see a queen, so maybe I'll try to like requeen um, if I have the time, if I can order one fast enough, but this hive is probably doomed. So that's really, really distressing. So um, I hate to end this note on such a, such a negative, negative note end this video on such a negative note, but um, that's it. My once great four tier hive is now one tier and I don't even think that will make it. So I'm going to shut down this video, clean up. I'm actually going to run inside first, see if I can order a new queen. And uh, it is what it is. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I don't know if I'll be doing beekeeping next year. <laughs> this was kind of my, uh, my last try and I don't think I made it. So, but I could perhaps sell the hive to somebody who's better, better, better skilled than I. All the advice, see people are always like, oh, we well, got to talk to local beekeepers, and I do. I mean, rarely do I do in person because I don't have time like that, but I do, I'm on part, I'm a member of a lot of groups, I get a lot of feedback, but the frustrating thing is with the beekeepers groups and, 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 and clubs 
is everyone's got a thousand different opinions. So it's really hard. You know, I'm constantly going in 20 different directions trying to follow the proper advice. And maybe at the end of the day, that's what ends up destroying my hives is because I'm trying to do all those different things. And some of it may be unnecessary. I don't know. But in any case, I'm going I'm to call this video quits. Um, you know, give my video a thumbs up, I guess. Uh, yeah. I'm so sorry. I feel like I failed you all, and I failed my bees, and I failed my homestead yet again. This has been probably the worst year on my homestead thus far, and uh, I'm going to shut off the camera before I start crying, because you don't need to see that. All right, thank you so much. Bye-bye.